Is Cengage algebra really worth the hype for G aspirants? Today, I am diving deep into this popular book to find out if it's truly helpful or just another overhyped resource. Let's break it down. So, this is the book of Cengage algebra and this is the DPP. So, to talk about the book, Cengage algebra authored by G. Tiwani is part of the popular Cengage mathematics series. It's built to take students from basic concepts to advanced JE problems all in one place. This book contains detailed theory solved examples and wide variety of practice problems designed to cover everything from fundamental to the toughest questions in J advanced also this dpp is for practice purpose and here you get mains level and advanced level questions for daily practice now let's talk about the book first so this is the book you can see the cover and in the contents page you can see here first the preface then first chapter is set theory and real number system after that chapter 2 theory of equations then chapter 3 complex numbers then chapter 4 principle of mathematical induction then chapter 5 progression and series chapter 6 inequalities involving means then permutation and combination after that binomial theorem after that probability 1 then mathematical reasoning after that statistics then determinants after that matrices then probability 2 and then the solutions of all these chapters 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 after that appendix 1 chapter wise solve je main 2019 question 16 sets then appendix 2 chapter wise solve je main january 2020 question 6 sets appendix 3 je advanced 2019 solve questions this is the preface after that here you get to the chapter 1 set theory and real number system here you get first the structure is like first you get some theory and after that you get some illustrations to see how questions are solved and after that you get again some theory some notes in between some theories or in between some theory and illustrations here you get the note here in the theory section after that illustrations again and again some theory and again uh, here is a note again illustration then again theory then again illustrations and again theory then again illustrations and here you get the concept application exercise this is to test your understanding to test your knowledge then again theory illustrations some concept application exercise again the theory illustrations okay and concept application exercise then again theory then illustrations and concept application exercise and this cycle continues first theory then some illustrations and then concept application exercise after that you get some solved problems after the solved problems here you get plenty of solved problems after that you get exercise here you get different types of questions like single correct answer type questions like that's given here after that here there are not uh, really much questions in this chapter but in other chapters you will find out that there are single correct answer type questions as well as multiple correct answer type questions then matrix match type questions and many more like here you get the archives is the j main questions and also if available there will be given j advanced questions also and here's the answer key so this is the second chapter theory of equations again the structure is same first theory then illustrations and then concept application exercise like here you can see first theory then illustrations and then concept application exercise again theory illustrations and some notes maybe you can find out maybe in theory or in between some theory and illustrations so first theory then illustrations and then concept application exercise and this cycle can uh, continues several times before you get to the solve problem section like right here here you get the solved examples there are plenty of solved examples like maybe at least 10 on average for every chapter you get solved examples and then you get the exercise single correct answer type questions and then multiple correct answer type questions then linked comprehension type questions again here is the matrix match type questions then you get numerical value type questions then archives here is the, you get the questions from je mains and advanced here is the JE main questions then here is the advanced questions after that you get answers key so this is the chapter 3 complex numbers the structure is also same for this chapter also first you get some theory then illustrations then concept application exercise again this cycle continues several times and you get some solved examples at the end of the chapter maybe some notes in between the theory and illustrations then 
again you get some solved examples at the end of the chapter after several repetition of the cycle and here after the examples you get exercises first is single correct answer type questions here you can see after that here is multiple correct answer type questions then link comprehension type questions then matrix match type questions then numerical value type questions then archives here you get the je main and advanced level questions i mean advanced uh, je mains and advanced pyq questions previous year questions and after that you get the answers key and here for all of the chapters the structure is basically same so here's the chapter 4 you can see principle of mathematical induction and here's the chapter 5 progression and series and here's the chapter 6 inequalities involving means and here's the chapter 7 permutation and combination chapter 8 binomial theorem and chapter 9 probability 1 then chapter 10 mathematical reasoning then chapter 11 statistics then here you get the chapter 12 determinants and here you get chapter 13 matrices then chapter 14 probability 2 and after that you get to the solution section here you get the chapter wise and here also you can see the concept of diction exercise problems here you get exercise 1.1 solution after the exercise 1.2 solution and here it continues after that you get the exercise solutions like also here is single correct answer type question solutions and yeah that's it and archive solutions also and here you get all of the chapters solutions at the end of the book you get here chapter wise solve j main 2019 question 16 sets this is the appendix one here you get chapter wise questions and you get the answer key after that appendix two chapter wise solve j main january 2020 questions six sets here you get also chapter wise questions here and the answer key and here's the appendix three j advanced 2019 solved questions also you get different types of questions are bunched together here not chapter wise okay and the answer key here and hints and solutions here that's it for the book and now let's look at the dpp here so you can see the dpp here it's for daily practice purpose okay so daily practice problems are given here for algebra for j main and advanced now here you can see the contents page chapter one inequalities and modulus then chapter two theory of equations then chapter three complex numbers then chapter four progression and series then chapter five inequalities involving means then chapter six permutation and combination after that here you can see chapter 7 binomial theorem then chapter 8 determinants then chapter 9 matrices chapter 10 probability and then solution section so here you can see there are several dpps for each of the chapter okay now here's the chapter 1 you can see this is the dpp 1.1 there are several types of questions in the dpp like subjective questions single correct answer type questions and you get the answer key at the end of the each of the dpp also different types of questions include like multiple correct answer type questions comprehension type questions here you can see multiple correct answer type questions single correct answer type questions and also in some cases numerical value type questions so yeah that's some basic information about the dpp and at the end of the dpp you get the solutions so here you get the dpp 1.1 solutions like different types of questions solutions are uh, bunched together like subjective questions answers are given in in the series in the serial same serial okay so that's it for the dpp now let's talk about the pros and cons about this book and this dpp first pros in this book this book covers almost every concept needed for j algebra in one place okay like for let's suppose you took the complex numbers chapter okay first you get some theory plenty of theory are given here okay there are a lot of theory are covered in detail here also you get some illustrations that's like how you can solve a problem and after that to check your understanding there are given concept application exercise also at the end of the chapter you get some solved examples they are pretty good and after that you get different types of questions and a lot of questions okay so this almost covers every concept needed for je preparation also the uh, second point is great progression from easy to tough questions there are different easy level questions from you can see in the concept application exercise there are some easy questions also at the first some questions at the in the exercises you find it easy as compared to at the end of the chapter's questions they may be a little bit hard sometimes 
sometimes people find it hard sometimes not now also it includes previous year questions here as you can see at the end of the chapters in the archive sections you get jee mains previous year questions and jee advanced previous year questions the latest books best buy link is given in the description here you can find the latest book covers the latest previous year questions this is a bit old in this book you cannot get the latest ones but in the latest edition you get all the latest questions okay also the thing is here you get a well structured chapters with multiple solved examples as i have already told you that you get well structured theory and illustrations and a complete kind of preparation kind of thing in this book and you first you read theory and then some see how problems are solved in illustration sections then you check your knowledge or understanding in the concept application exercises after that you get plenty of solved examples the solved examples are really good for this book so that's the fact okay and this book is ideal for self study if you have some conceptual base well yeah you can start this book with just with zero knowledge but if you get some conceptual things some fundamental knowledge that will be beneficial for your preparation so that's the pros now let's talk about the cons so the cons are there are too many questions which can feel overwhelming sometimes during your limited preparation time because there you can see there are a lot of questions lot of lot of questions in the exercises so it sometimes became quite stress kind of thing to solve all the problems here are five volumes of this book and there are about some 100 problems at least 100 problems kind of thing 50 to 100 questions at least in each of the chapters so it sometimes feel overwhelming for students to solve all the problems also not ideal for quick revision this book covers in depth study okay so deep study required so if you are referring this book for quick revision or kind of thing it's not really meant for that also if you don't have that much time you can solve start from solved examples then start with some difficult or quality problems in the exercises that that's quite enough for that but not really enough for maybe securing some good marks now some solutions are maybe too brief okay some students without a strong base sometimes may struggle to fill in the skipped steps that's a thing you may not find it that much okay in this preparation journey you will be familiar with this kind of thing basically it's not a book you just read it's a book you grind through so the question is should you actually buy this senkej algebra book well yes if you are aiming for top ranks in je and already have some conceptual clarity it's one of the best resources out there for algebra but if you are a beginner or preparing without guidance it may feel too fast too deep or too much in this case use it along with class notes coaching modules or simpler foundation book first senkej algebra isn't just a book it's complete ecosystem for theory practice and exam level problems use it chapter by chapter stay consistent and don't try to rush through all the problems even solving 60 or 70% of the book is enough to build strong algebra fundamentals for dedicated aspirants it's definitely worth the hype but only if you're ready to put in the work if you found this book review helpful hit the like button and drop a comment with your book review requests and don't forget to subscribe to jike study your one stop channel for smart je prep and book review thanks for watching and keep learning smart